<sighs> well, I mean, I'm trying this new sting and transition out, but it's not working very well, and I'm not even sure when it's gonna hit, so, you know, it's hit or miss. I don't know when that's gonna happen. But, you guys are looking for Stinger Transitions. I have a bunch of resources for you guys, and if you want to learn how to use Stinger Transitions for your stream, whether it's OBS, Streamlabs, XSplit, whatever it is, I do have a video on how to use them in the top right in the cards, but here are my top three resources on where I find free, custom, and cheap Stinger Transitions for your videos and streams. Oh, I can... I think I figured out a new stinger transition. So one of the first options that I would ever recommend when it comes to stinger transitions is Visuals by Impulse or VBI. They have a really great range of stinger transitions and this one doesn't require any editing software. They do it all for you. It's called Stinger Transition Maker. Pretty original, but also pretty simple. I like that. It also comes with some free options. So if you want to give it a try before you actually pay for anything, you can do that too. Or if the free options were your only interest, there you go, you've got those too. Visuals by Impulse also has a lot of other free alerts and templates and overlays. Let's stick to transitions for now. The premium ones are really nice. And if you use my link down below, you get 5% off of your order. So take advantage of that. The coupon is automatically applied when you go to checkout. And just to be clear, none of these platforms are paying me to say anything. Although I do get a kickback if you use my link, which helps support the channel. That's the only type of compensation I get from this. I've used visuals by Impulse for about two to three years now. I use their hype meter that they have. I use that on my stream to get people excited for when I do giveaway streams. I also use some of their alerts as well. So here's how VBI's Stinger Transition Maker works. You essentially buy credits for this, and most transactions require credits to process. A credit costs between $2 to $5 depending on the package you purchase. So one credit costs $5 on a one-time transaction, or if you get 10 credits, which is like a bundle discount, you get $3.50 per credit, which is a 30% discount. Or if you get 25 credits, that's a 60% discount. So if you plan on getting extra Stinger transitions in the future, or just you know, other overlays from their website, I'd recommend going for the 60% discount one, which is 25 credits. It's a very straightforward process. Just upload the image or logo that you have for your Stinger transition. Go ahead and change the colors and make sure that you choose MOV for your result. If you wanted to get an MOV and WebM format for that same Stinger transition, that would require two credits. So just keep that in mind. So what I would recommend is getting the MOV file which is a larger file size because WebM files work better for streaming, less tax on your software, your streaming software, and it's just easier to work through. But WebM files do not have a transparent background when you bring it into your editing software. So use the MOV file, which is the for editor option here, download that. You can use that in your stream. It's not as optimized, but you can do that. Nice thing is, is you can use that for your videos and it has that transparent background in it already. You can also export that MOV file from your editing software as a WebM format. I have videos on how to do all of that on my channel. Then once you've added everything that you want to the cart, go ahead and check out, use your credits, and it'll show up in your queue. Once those transitions are done in the queue section, it will show up in your completed section, and you can download those and use those to your heart's content. By this point, I'm just gonna get used to it. But number two for Stinger Transition resources is my website, and honestly, I think it's pretty cool. I've been creating them over the last three or four years now, and a lot of them are getting pretty popular. I have five free matte Stinger Transitions, and if you wanna learn how to use a matte Stinger Transition in the new version of OBS Studio, that is linked in the top right in the cards. I also have an advanced version, so an extra five for a premium pack if you guys enjoy the, the basic free one and that supports the channel, and you guys get some really cool Stinger transitions, which I use on my stream as well, on twitch.tv slash Frost. You should come check it out, link is down below. Then there's transition six, which is one of the free transitions that you get with the pack Stinger. I created this with a bunch of other content creators so that we can put forward a really awesome product for editors and streamers. These are robust Stinger transitions. You get lifetime access to it at one fee. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription, and new Stinger transitions get added every so often. And then I've got another free Stinger transition pack on the website if you're interested in, you know, multiple options, 
But then I have my most popular one, which is 10 Stinger Transitions for Streamers and Editors. It's been downloaded over 150,000 times, so people really love it. And it is free in case you're a wanderer. Not again. Ah! <sighs> I use Fiverr almost every single week, whether it's thumbnails, music, or script writing, or pretty much anything else. But Stinger Transitions are a big part of that. Use the link down below and you can go to a Stinger Transition on Fiverr where you can get custom transitions for your stream and videos. This page is my favorite on Fiverr and you can filter through many different options. And you can get pretty specific in what you wanna look for. You can choose animations for streams, graphics for streamers, logo animations, and even more. You can see there are a lot of options when it comes to Stinger transitions, and they start as low as $5 per transition, and these are custom ones. A really good deal that I got in the past was this gig, which is 5.9 stars, really good, and as low as $30 for a Stinger transition. The artist of this gig goes super in detail, and customizes every little part of your transition to make it unique so that no other transition looks like yours. It's not just a template you slap it in and some people might have the same look. This one's actually fully custom and it looks really good. I prefer a unique look when it comes to my stream and these transitions don't look the same as you can see by the examples. So I'll leave a link down below to that gig. It's one of my favorite and it's very competitive when it comes to custom stinger transitions. At that price, you get some really great value. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this now, but you obviously made it this far in the video and found it interesting or helpful. So please leave a like, that'd be appreciated. Help push it in the YouTube algorithm to a larger audience. It's free. Thank you so much for the support. This is my full-time job, so it means a lot. Remember the links to all of these transitions are down in the description. Some of those links have automatic coupons applied to it, so you get a discount if you wanna buy some of the premium ones. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. But until then, watch this video. It's really great about Stinger Transitions. I enjoyed it, and a lot of the community really found it useful. Until then, I'll see you next time. Is he gone? Don't forget to catch me live on twitch.tv slash Murray Frost. I live stream there pretty often. We have a great time. Come hang out. Let's say hi.